Hey everybody, haven't done a video in a while. Um, done a few things uh, to some of the Jeeps. I just haven't had time to make a video, but um, what we're gonna be doing today and maybe for the next couple days is trying to uh, replace these brake lines uh, just to the front. Um, so I think, uh, I think what we got here is this one and uh, this is the this is the one that's leaking and then the one to the uh, other front is this one so these two right here and uh, I forget what this is called the regulator anyway this is the this is the uh, part that helps distribute the correct pressure to each brake uh, you know each wheel each brake system and then this is the reservoir and of course the master cylinder so uh you can see we're way down on brake fluid um, it's all leaked out the leak we were getting is from right here and you can see how rusted out that is it's pretty bad i've actually bought all new hoses too i figure when we got all this off, we might as well replace those. So we're going to be replacing the hoses and the brake lines in the front. And it looks like I need to maybe pop this back in place too. It's popped out. So uh, might work on plastic fender as well. Anyway, let's get started. What I've got here is the set from Fine Lines. And it's all uh, stainless steel. So... Um, I also went ahead and got new stainless steel brake holder as well. Um, so I think what I was going to try to do is maybe start with the uh, driver side one, and then we'll go from there. Many days later. All right, a lot of time has passed. Um, I've been waiting for a couple little pieces to come in. Um, these brake hoses are great but they did not come with any washers so i ordered the stainless steel washers for them and then uh you know of course we already had these brake lines and i've been waiting for the weather to improve so this uh brake line here that's the one we need that's the one that's leaking here on the left front driver's side front so it is right here and it goes simply down here there's a uh little uh, let's see if I can get a light on there hang on there we go much better there is a uh, grommet or a washer it's really not that tight of a grommet because you can see right through it um, but there's a grommet right there and then it just comes down and gets attached right here with a star bolt and then there's a uh, currently plastic hose and that's what I want to replace with stainless steel I want to replace the hoses just because I don't know how old they are, but they do tend to collapse. Um, and then uh, we'll just replace that going into the brake shoe. I didn't have any washers for those, so you'll see those in a minute. But uh, so there's the hose. We've really just got to undo it here, uh, the brake line. So we'll take it apart here. We'll uh, take this off the rubber hose. And uh, to do that, we'll just uh, undo that bolt there. It should be a 3 8 inch and this is a uh, special um, uh, eight sided I guess uh, wrench for crescent wrench for uh, brake line hoses and it's not fitting on there so pull around with that hopefully that's the right size because it fits the new one um, anyway all right this is a uh, t40 this is actually not too difficult uh, to get off um, I just Broke it loose with very little effort. That is three eighths, um, so seems to be uh, working. I'm just gonna have to, um, yeah. I really don't have to disconnect that. I, I probably can just pull it straight out from the top. So, you know, what I may do is just disconnect the hose, and then from the uh, caliper, and then we'll pull it out from the top. Okay, the banjo bolt on the caliper is a uh, 14 millimeter, and that's all it took to get it going right there. So, here comes the brake fluid. Got a uh, towel down here to catch it. But 
these are the washers that I didn't have. I've got washers, I've got new banjo bolts now, and I hope they're gonna be the right size. So now that I'm pulling this banjo bolt out, I'm not so sure. Shouldn't be a lot of brake fluid. It looks like most of it's coming out of the couch. The uh, brake fluid is very caustic, so I'm going to drip in the water. Clean off the wheel, clean off the brake collar. All right, let's get the hose off and the, uh, well, the line off and hopefully the hose will come with it. All right, the, uh, it's this front line here, the front line uh, on the bottom, not the, uh, not, not this one, but this one. So that's what I'm gonna take off and then that'll be our driver's side. Uh, that'll be our driver's side front brake line and hopefully that hose uh, attached to it, all of it will come off. We have pretty much stripped that bolt out. It is a uh, 3 8 and uh, it's just not, just not coming. So uh, I'm gonna have to get some kind of vice grips on it, I think. Got it off with the big vice grips and it's pretty loose right now. Let's see if I can use the wrench. It's pretty stripped. Yeah, so I do have some underwear in there. That is to hopefully catch any trippings. There's still some brake fluid in there, so this is the uh, bottom of the proportioning valve, so I'm hoping that it's not going to just flow right through. Keep working it. Okay, we got it off there, so I'm going to try to thread it through. Now let me show you one thing. First, there is not any brake fluid dripping out of there. Second, there are clips here. Um, move the underwear you can see the brake line right here runs into that white clip that's right down there and then it goes through the firewall or the fender it'll pop it up out of that clip and then we're going to try to thread it through hmm. i just pulled off the wrong one so this this is we're going to be replacing this one but this was actually the line to the uh this is the line to the passenger side so whoops all right, well, I'm just gonna leave that in place for now. Uh, but what I've gotta do is get this front one off. Now this front on the proportion valve, the front line, is the one that goes to the front brakes. So we're gonna get that off, replace that line. And I'm getting this front uh, off the proportioning valve, I'm getting this front brake line off, and uh, it's turning this thing too, so. That may have to come back off and go back in. Uh, but I'm just trying to get it out at this point. It's very slow going. It's hard to get a wrench in here. Probably should take the air handler off and maybe unplug this sensor uh, right here. I ended up getting another wrench on there um, to hold that piece in place. So uh, now this uh, line, the uh, flange nut, on the line is spinning really freely so it should be off in a second the problem is i have to keep because of the space limitations i have to keep flipping the wrench back and forth um to be able to get it in there anyway i can't film and do it at the same time i finally uh got in there with some needle nose pliers and uh got it loose enough to uh remove so now the, uh, that front brake line is out, and I'm just going to slowly slide it down through the bottom down here. So let's pull it out. Okay, we got it out, and we got this little gasket, which we'll put back on. Um, I twisted that end up a little bit. 
Let's go ahead and get the replacement line on and uh, then we can hook up the hose. Look at the banjo bolts and stuff. All right, what it looks like is my hoses have shipped without the uh, clips here that are supposed to hold it onto the fender like uh, this clip right here. So uh, I've contacted SS Lines um, who makes these to ask about that. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and install everything anyway, and then we'll just attach that later to the fender. So um, you can see here, I've actually got the brake line and I'm, um, you can see it right there. And I'm going to pull it up through and attach it to the uh, uh, end where I just pulled the other one off right there. All right, I've got that started. And uh, it's about hand tight now, so I'll finish it up with the wrench and then uh, we will, uh, I tighten this back up too. And then uh, we'll work on removing that. I'm gonna put the hose on this too. One of the issues I had in buying everything was um, replacing these crush washers, the uh, go on the banjo bolts. And I'm going to reuse this banjo bolt. I did find one banjo bolt that's the correct one. I've got two here that are not correct. So that's not correct. And I would tell you which one is the correct one. But now I've forgotten which one was the crush washer set. And which one was the banjo bolt. But one of these two, we can look them up later. One of those two um, are going to be this banjo bolt that's correct for these calipers. Now, when you buy new calipers, you get new banjo bolts anyway. So, you know, eventually if you get new calipers for this, um, you'll get a new banjo bolt and the new crush washers. But I wanted the crush washers and I need two per side. So here's two here with a new banjo bolt. That's definitely the, definitely the right bolt. And then uh, I'm going to size. This is just an assortment. And I'm going to um, pick the right size. Uh, but it looks like it's probably, probably that one right there. So anyway, we'll pick those out and we'll be ready to install the brake lines or the hoses to the line. Uh, the brake line, remember, I'm not able to right now attach it to the um, fender, but it'll go right here. And then the hose is going to attach here and I'll push this grommet back into place. But that's hand tight already into the uh, proportioning valve or the whatever the brake uh, booster is um, under the hood. And it turns out these um, washers are all the same size. But in any event, um, here's your hose. And when this goes on the uh, vehicle, you're going to have one washer on the inside and one washer on the outside. So it'll go like that. And that way, any fluid coming down this hose goes into the hole here in the bolt and then comes out this little opening here. So it just, this bolt allows fluid to flow through it. And these rings will tighten, um, you know, will, will seal. You can see on the old ring how these grooves were cut into it. Um, as it's tightened down, that keeps the brake fluid from coming out. So it's like a gasket because it's made of soft brass. So that creates a gasket. So that's what we're gonna be doing. When you torque this down, it creates a gasket. The fluid will flow in through that hole and it flows out through that hole into the caliper. So let's get all that attached up. All right. And you wanna keep this away, you know, from the tire. So, to do that, uh, this really needs to be attached up here. Uh, you can see the other brake line uh, and how that's hooked up. So we will uh, we'll tighten this down and then uh, move to the uh, tighten the top and then we'll move to the other side. The only thing I can't do is attach this part to the fender. Side on the passenger side, 
and the uh, banjo bolt is out. I'm gonna use the new banjo bolt on this side and uh, we'll start pulling that hose out. There are various places along here in the bulkhead where the uh, line is clipped and then it goes goes up under here um, takes a dive down to right here where it passes through the fender so um, what I'm going to do is uh, get this grommet off and then um, I'm going to pull the uh, try to pull it through um, I may have to cut it the new line comes in two pieces and you screw it together so that uh, you just put one side in and then the other. Kind of got the brake line routed through there up to here. That's where half of it will go. I've got to pull that up at the end of it's down here. I can't quite figure out where the rest of it goes. Um, biggest problem is this air conditioning. Um, uh, I guess that's the dryer. Um, is in the way and right here is where the brake hose goes through the fender and then I mean it's literally right here beside the dryer so that's where it goes through so my thought is that it comes up like this and then goes along the firewall but I really cannot get the brake hose with uh, but I really can't get this brake line uh, down there that way like I think it goes sort of like this and there's also no no bend in it here there should be a bend for it to get through the firewall uh, through the fender like it can't just go through the fender like this um, but that's the way it is so my thought is is that it needs to have a little right angle bend in here like a little uh, zigzag. So I'm gonna keep messing with it. I'm getting tired. This is definitely an art. I've got the uh, rear brake line or the uh, passenger side brake line in on the driver's side. Um, it actually is going around the drive shaft to the other side, not the same side that uh, the other one was going to. And so consequently, I think this needs to go on that side of the throttle cable so I've disconnected it and I'm going to pull the throttle cable through and push this uh, forward okay with these um, they go up on the proportioning valve or whatever uh, you can see they're pre-bent and they look pretty good but there is a little bit of a curve here that's not in this one and that little tiny curve I mean it's sort of in there So, uh, the problem I'm having is not being able to get it to fit exactly right. It looks like this has got to be bent down more. That's what it is. So, this needs to come down a little bit more. And I've got something to bend it with. But, uh, it's not letting me, um, I'm not able to get this to bend exactly right to get around the to get around this um, reservoir. So the problem I'm having is that this will not go straight in because this is hitting it, hitting the reservoir just, just the right angle so that I can't get this to thread in properly. So um, I'm gonna try to bend it just a little bit. So with just a little bend, I was able to get it to go straight. Very, very slight here. Um, now it doesn't even touch the reservoir. Um, originally, uh, you know, I don't know if these were original or not, or if this had been someone had replaced them. Probably they were original. These were closer together, but it doesn't matter. Um, that's going to be fine. I'm going to go ahead and tighten all the bolts up, and then uh, I just need to fix the passenger side. So what I had to do on the passenger side on the front is I disconnected this. Um, air dryer here, moved it off of the fender, uh, moved it off of here, so that's what I got that out of the way. I'm going to reattach it, 
and the brake line came up straight from there comes up over here and that's going to go back further once I've finished bending the line and then it goes up here and connects here I need to tighten those up too but that's where it connects so all this will push up a little further uh, in the firewall and it'll come down here and it goes down so that's a little bit different than how it did before it went down it went down here originally and under this canister and out there all right let's get that finished up all right i got the bending tool here and i'm going to just uh put it down in here crimp the line in it and then uh bend the line over the uh over the tool and i may uh i may try it from the other side too inside the fender i just need to put about a little 90 degree bend in it so that it shoots up that way all right everything's hooked back up um the only thing i may do later is just try to bend this a little bit away from this canister but other than touching the canister it's really not hitting anything uh critical and now it's up behind here um i may move this i may move this clip um I'll probably un uninstall that and install you know one of these kind of clips anyway but uh, i don't want the brake line rubbing on that um otherwise uh in fact it may not rub on it if i clip it into place here yeah clip it in up there then uh i guess we're gonna flush this out put new brake fluid in here and see how it's working i'm gonna add uh brake fluid and uh, fill up the reservoir and we're gonna pump the tire furthest away uh i've got a vacuum extractor and uh we're gonna pull all the dirty fluid out of that line hopefully all right i've got the vacuum extractor hooked up this is a 5 16th size nut. All right, let's put the vacuum on it. Got a lot of air in the system because of the fact that we replaced the brake lines. So we're going to pull a lot of air out. getting a lot of air just keep doing that you can see um, there is a lot of dirty fluid coming out and that dirty fluid is uh, what we want to bleed out of there a couple of notes um, I went ahead and installed the original tight brake lines because the stainless steel ones I got didn't have clips to clip it to the inside of the frame here or the fender or whatever and uh, fine lines said uh, they are discontinued they don't make them I think there's a way to do it I just don't know uh, I think you've got to get a, a clip that has a hole in it and it has a loop right here and that's it and I think they sell them, but I couldn't find them or get them quickly. Um, it's, this has been a week since I installed these lines. Actually, probably been two weeks since I installed these lines. And uh, this is not to pass inspection, so uh, I've got to get it inspected. So I'm just installing this type of brake line. This should be fine. These are great. Um, not like I'm off-roading this thing or anything. Um, and then I can't get these uh, bleeder screws on the driver's side, front and rear off. I've stripped them. I'm gonna have to take it somewhere um, to get these bleeder screws, uh, front and back, driver's side, out. Um, so the system can be totally uh, flushed out. So um, that is what we are doing. Uh, I'm gonna replace the passenger side, uh, front brake line, or front brake hose, I should say. And, uh, and I'll be all set to get it over to get inspected.